Welcome to Jewel Tech Tutorial, your automotive, driving, and tech services hub. I'm Julius Libyet, and we're here to fuel your knowledge in these exciting fields. We've got everything from car tips to driving insights and tech innovations. Subscribe, hit the bell, and explore the road ahead together on Jewel Tech Tutorial. The distributor is a critical component of a gasoline engine's ignition system, and setting it correctly is essential for the engine to run smoothly and efficiently. Here are the basic steps to set the distributor on a gasoline engine. 1. Safety precautions. Ensure the engine is turned off and the ignition key is removed to prevent accidental starts. Make sure the area around the engine is clear of any flammable materials. 2. Locate the distributor. The distributor is usually located on the top of the engine, near the front. It's a round or oval-shaped component with a cap on top. The distributor cap contains the spark plug wires. 3. Top Dead Center TDC Before setting the distributor, you must find the engine's top dead center TDC for the number 1 cylinder. TDC is the point where the piston is at its highest position in the cylinder. You can use a timing mark on the harmonic balancer or a piston stop tool to locate TDC for the number 1 cylinder. Refer to your engine's manual for specific instructions on how to do this. Four. Set the initial timing. Consult your engine's specifications or service manual for the recommended initial timing setting. This setting is typically given in degrees before top dead center BTDC, and can vary depending on the engine's make and model. Standard initial timing settings range from 8 to 12 degrees BTDC. 5. Adjust the distributor. Loosen the distributor hold down bolt, which secures the distributor. Gently rotate the distributor until the rotor, the small arm inside the distributor cap, points at the number 1 spark plug wire on the distributor cap. 6. Tighten the distributor bolt. Once the distributor is aligned with the number 1 spark plug wire, tighten the hold down bolt. Be careful not to move the distributor while tightening the bolt. 7. Reconnect spark plug wires. Ensure the spark plug wires are properly connected to the distributor cap in the correct firing order. The firing order can vary between engines, so consult your engine's manual for the correct order. 8. Double check timing. Use a timing light to double check the timing. Connect the timing light to the number 1 spark plug wire and the battery. Start the engine and aim the timing light at the timing marks on the harmonic balancer. The timing light will flash, and you should see the timing mark on the balancer align with the specified timing degree on the timing cover or engine block. 9. Fine-tune timing. If the timing is incorrect, you may need to make small adjustments to the distributor's position. Loosen the hold-down bolt slightly, rotate the distributor, and then recheck the timing with the timing light. Repeat this process until the timing is set correctly. 10. Tighten everything. Once the timing is set correctly, tighten the distributor hold-down bolt and ensure all connections are secure. 11. Test drive. Take the vehicle for a test drive to ensure that the engine runs smoothly and that there are no signs of knocking or pinging. If necessary, make further adjustments to the timing. Setting the distributor correctly is crucial for engine performance and fuel efficiency. If you need more confidence in your ability to set the distributor, it's advisable to seek the help of a qualified mechanic or technician who can perform the task accurately. Incorrect distributor timing can lead to poor engine performance, increased fuel consumption, and potential engine damage. 